heading to North Phoenix uh, to get something. I haven't read the notes. I just try to get out the door as fast as I can. We are coming into that time of year where it's starting to get warmer. The snakes will be more and more nocturnal. So that means that the days of us kind of getting up, getting some coffee, having breakfast, checking the emails, and then the calls start rolling in are kind of over. At any moment, we gotta jump out of bed and like directly into pants and boots and be out the door with a flashlight. Underneath the wicker chair, you can squat down. See it? Uh, not yet. No. Oh yeah, there he is. Second one we've had on this front porch this year. So yeah. I asked to talk to somebody about trying to secure this. Yeah, let me take a look around too, see if there's anything else going on. That... Yeah, it was just over a week ago we had you guys out here and to take another one off this oh, really? porch. Um, and then it doesn't help when they're working on the road. Yeah, of course. Building a house. Because my neighbor said when this house and this house next to me was built, uh -huh. he had like 13 rattlesnakes that season. Oh, geez. So they were building it because all the snakes got displaced, right? Yeah. Well, it just disturbs their behavior. I mean, just even one that's crawling through and suddenly feels it can't has to reroute. So even if it's just crawling through your property, you might notice it when it you know might not be there. So I think the homeowner's correct in that the reason why he may have seen two rattlesnakes on his property recently, where he normally maybe sees two in a whole year, is because of all the construction. Every time there's construction in an area, whether it be a new house or building a new road, it can displace or cause disturbance with the animals in the area. It's not like they just get dug up, but it's like, let's say that your route to work suddenly has road construction, like mine is today. I'm gonna have to take a different route home. And that is very much like what happens here where a rattlesnake that maybe crawls a certain way and counts on that every year now has to take an alternate route and that might put it right in the way of somebody else's property. So construction is one of the major drivers of encounters of rattlesnakes. And in places like this, where there's nonstop construction, it's an ongoing process. It can take years for that to settle down. So I'm looking for an area for this snake that is not currently scheduled for development. It is public land so that it can go a little while without having to see a bulldozer and end up in somebody else's yard. Now, there's a big, big pack rat nest down here. And that's where this rattlesnake's gonna go. And I could be able to crawl down there with it. Okay. There it is, this little diamondback. If I was a rattlesnake, I would want to live in this pack rat nest. There she goes. I'll make sure she gets in there. So right now I'm doing exactly the same thing that probably put that snake into that guy's yard. I'm taking the long way home because there's construction on my preferred path. So along the way, I might run into things that I wouldn't normally run into. I haven't had breakfast yet today. I'm kind of wondering maybe there'll be a spot to eat on the way here that I don't normally eat at because I never drive this route home. Snakes and other animals are very much the same way to where if they have a preferred path between maybe the place that they want to hide and the place that they want to eat or the place they want to get a drink, they're going to be forced if there's something that's changing that like construction or road work to choose a different route and that can put them into conflict with people. I think that's probably what happened here. That's what the homeowner thought as well. I think he's correct. And I'm hoping that there are some good breakfast places on the way home because I'm kind of sick of the ones that are around my house. Headed to a call in Litchfield Park. A gentleman said he just noticed a rattlesnake coiled up by his front door. Looks to be a newer build community since his house isn't even on the map yet. Um, so likely the poor little snake just got displaced. Uh, so I'm gonna go find it a nice new home. Hello, how's it going? Good. So he just, I don't know if it's a rattlesnake. It might be, a, okay. it's a pretty small snake. But He's down in here? Yeah, yeah. So he was coiled up on the left side of that block and now he looks like he crawled in between the block and the house. Can the block be moved? I don't know. Just We just installed it like a week ago. 
but he's in there for sure. Okay. Can I try to move it? Yeah, yeah, you can. I don't think you can. Though. Oh, it's like screwed in, huh? Yeah, yeah. If you open the door, it doesn't move? No, no, no. There's just like a tiny, yeah, you'll be able to, he's definitely in there. Okay. You just watch them crawl in there probably five minutes uh, ago. I mean, the only way I can get him out is if maybe I squirt some water. Yeah. Do you have a, like a hose or something that's right here? Uh, I could grab one. Yeah, I can get it out here. Okay, thank you. Yeah. How long have you lived here? You just moved. Yeah, <laughs> like the only house on this block. <laughs> We're like not all too surprised we'd see something like this. But... Yeah, thank you. There he is. Oh yeah, it's a rattlesnake. Ooh. <laughs> It's a baby one though, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a, like a juvenile. Drinking, he's thirsty. Are they any more venomous or poisonous? Um, no, this was the same. Oh, I'm gonna let him drink, that's cute. Okay, Poor guy was probably really thirsty, he just got right to it. Like, imagine how thirsty you have to be if someone's squirting you with a hose and you just stop to take a drink. That's fair. Thing. Yeah, good eye. So he was just coiled here and you saw Yeah, he was right where he's at now, just in a perfect coil. Gotcha. Hey, buddy. Are they aggressive? Or... No, I mean, this is, yeah, this is it. Yeah. Look at him, he's just going down on that water. Look at you, little buddy. He's skinny. He needs to eat. Got that in the bucket for you. So you can soak it up. <laughs> You can go check them out in here, John. And little, oh, that little gecko. A little Western Bend gecko ran across the trail. Hi. Oh, so slow now. See you, buddy. Little western dime back here. Poor thing looks like it needs a meal. Look, it's gonna drink again for us. Jeez, it's so thirsty. Hi, right, little bud. It's okay. little snake get some food okay really windy out um, but I feel I feel so bad for that poor little snake totally lost its home uh, that the whole desert around that house is just flattened and they're still building a bunch of homes it's crazy Arizona is just ugh, it's disgusting seeing the desert just disappear for cookie cutter homes